I will show you how we target specific blocks in Squarespace. So for example, if we wanted to target one particular image block or one particular text block to add CSS to just that block, we could dive into the code, but there's actually an easier way to do it. So if you go to christyprice.com slash resources and scroll down until you get to Chrome extensions plugins, go ahead and click on Squarespace collection block identifier. This is an extension I use every day. Go ahead and click add to Chrome, add extension. And you can see that I've added it here in Chrome and it's not showing up right now. So what I want to do is go ahead and click here and pin it so it shows up. And after that, I'm going to move it to the front because like I said, this is one that I use every day. So now when we're on a Squarespace website, I can click my block identifier, which is just the letter B here, my extensions. And it will give me the collection ID. So this is the essentially the page ID. And then it gives me block IDs for my elements. So here I have a block ID for this image card. This is a block ID for a spacer here between the image cards, a block ID for the next image card, a block ID for this text block. So for example, here in custom CSS, let me get some of this out of the way. Um, I have added a sparkle before my titles of each image card. But what if I only want to add it for this image card and not this one? Well, then I just need to add the block ID to my custom CSS. So I click on this, it automatically copies it to my clipboard. Let me turn those off. And then inside custom CSS, I'll just paste it in and add a space. So you can see that now my image sparkle is just for this particular block and not on other image cards. So this is a great easy way to target blocks in Squarespace without having to sort through all the back end code of the website.